Hello, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions talking about macros and how to see variables that different objects have. Let's get started. So to start off, let's draw, I've drawn um, a room with, or a, a house with two different rooms. And I want to drag a leader line from one of the objects. And we're going to go to macro, object specific, I'm sorry, user defined, object underscore properties. And Chief will automatically put in the percent object underscore properties percent so that we can see all the different um, all the different properties that this object has. This object is currently connected to the window, and I can just move that window over, and you'll see that the leader line follows that. I'm going to undo that. Going through here, you can see various um properties such as automatic label label simple schedule number that's blank since we don't have a schedule include in schedule is true if i were to open this and change the schedule that would be false you can uh, see what description is Layer is Windows. Custom Fields is a hash, and that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother uh, video, whole nother tutorial. The Containing Wall is an NV Publisher class, and so it's talking about the wall that this window is in. Now, if I were to select this arrow and drag it to the cabinet, containing wall would disappear. And we would see all sorts of different variables available. So let's say I wanted to point to this cabinet and find the layer. I could do percent object dot layer. Uh, no, I take that back. No, I need to put a. I need to create a macro. That's what. I'm going to do object underscore info. If I don't evaluate it, Let's do this and do a user defined object info, object layer, and let's go back into the macro. If I don't evaluate it, it's just going to put this text in there. So I'll evaluate. That's an evaluation error. Okay. I can select this object and go into my text macro management. And I could do, I don't want object layer, that's the problem. Let's do owner. Now the owner is the owner itself. The owner is this text. And it is on the text existing layer. That's why that's coming up. So let's go into object info and do referenced. Let's 
the owner is the text, the referenced object is the cabinet. So if I were to select this arrow and drag it to the door, there's a different layer. Different information. Throw in this quick edit here. What I was doing incorrectly was I said object.layer. Uh, and what I should have done was percent referenced dot layer. If I did, once again, if I did owner dot layer, that would be referring to the text object itself, not the window, not the object to which this is referencing. So referenced dot layer pulls up the layer of whatever this uh, text and arrowhead are referencing or attached to, be it windows, cabinet base, wall, or door as such. Okay. Now the trick is there is not really a room, so to speak, to um, attach this arrow to. You attach it to the label, that's a, that's referring to the label itself on the layer's room label. Now you do have to be careful and make sure that it is touching the edge of a referenced object. There's cabinet space again. So if we wanted to see the label, Let's go into the object info and do referenced label B24R. And there, there's that information. We could find the height reference dot width. Now, if I change this and do context is referenced. I don't have to put referenced in the value here. I could just do label. And it's still the same. I could do label, comma, width, comma, height, comma, depth. Let's see what that does. That's not going to like that. So we got to put in some uh, information concatenating different strings together. Now notice what it's returning now is the last value. It processed the label, it processed the height, it processed the width, and that's the last value that it's going to show. Let's remove width. And there's the height of it. So going through, we could find door drawer material dot name door drawer material dot name paint grade hardwood painted tundra so you could pull that out notice when this is like indented door door underscore drawer underscore material you do a dot name dot id dot name dot is default so you could pull up paint grade you could pull up the name the shelf material you could pull up the room that it's in room dot uh i think room dot name 
I thought we could pull out the room it was in. I think that's in the kitchen. You can see all sorts of information about the room, the floor finish that's in that room, um, and just keep going, going, going. Has doors, true or false, number of doors and drawers. It'll pull all, out all of that information. That's the best way to start off with. And as you can see, this list is quite extensive. There's the uh, room, there's the cabinet, and that list is quite extensive. Style, size, pattern, scale, soffit material, soffit accounting code, oh my goodness, transparent items. That's how I would suggest getting the information that you can pull from any, any sort of object. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for following along. Click like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.